Ezra chapter 7. Now after these things, in the reign of Artaxerxes king of Persia, Ezra the son of Sariah, the son of Azariah, the son of Hilkiah, the son of Shalom, the son of Zadok, the son of Ahitub, the son of Amariah, the son of Azariah, the son of Marioth, the son of Zerahiah, the son of Azi, the son of Bukhi, the son of Avishua, the son of Phinehas, the son of Eleazar, the son of Aaron the chief priest, this Ezra went up from Babylon, and he was a ready scribe in the law of Moses, which the Lord God of Israel had given, and the king granted him all his request, according to the hand of the Lord his God upon him. And there went up some of the children of Israel, and of the priests, and the Levites, and the singers, and the porters, and the Nethinims, unto Jerusalem, in the seventh year of Artaxerxes the king. And he came to Jerusalem in the fifth month, which was in the seventh year of the king. For upon the first day of the first month began he to go up from Babylon, and on the first day of the fifth month came he to Jerusalem, according to the good hand of his God upon him. For Ezra had prepared his heart to seek the law of the Lord, and to do it, and to teach in Israel statutes and judgments. Now this is the copy of the letter that the king Artaxerxes gave unto Ezra the priest, the scribe, even a scribe of the words of the commandments of the Lord, and of his statutes to Israel. Artaxerxes, king of kings, unto Ezra the priest, a scribe of the law of the God of heaven, perfect peace, and at such a time. I make a decree, that all they of the people of Israel, and of his priests and Levites, in my realm, which are minded of their own free will to go up to Jerusalem, go with thee. For as much as thou art sent of the king, and of his seven counsellors, to inquire concerning Judah and Jerusalem, according to the law of thy God which is in thine hand. And to carry the silver and gold, which the king and his counsellors have freely offered unto the God of Israel, whose habitation is in Jerusalem. And all the silver and gold that thou canst find in all the province of Babylon, with the free will offering of the people, and of the priests, offering willingly for the house of their God which is in Jerusalem. That thou mayest buy speedily with this money bullocks, rams, lambs, with their meat offerings and their drink offerings, and offer them upon the altar of the house of your God which is in Jerusalem. And whatsoever shall seem good to thee, and to thy brethren, to do with the rest of the silver and the gold, that do after the will of your God. The vessels also that are given thee for the service of the house of thy God, those deliver thou before the God of Jerusalem. And whatsoever more shall be needful for the house of thy God, which thou shalt have occasion to bestow, bestow it out of the king's treasure house. And I, even I Artaxerxes the king, do make a decree to all the treasurers which are beyond the river, that whatsoever Ezra the priest, the scribe of the law of the God of heaven, shall require of you, it be done speedily. Unto an hundred talents of silver, and to an hundred measures of wheat, and to an hundred baths of wine, and to an hundred baths of oil, and salt without prescribing how much. Whatsoever is commanded by the God of heaven, let it be diligently done for the house of the God of heaven, for why should there be wrath against the realm of the king and his sons? Also we certify you, that touching any of the priests and Levites, singers, porters, nethinims, or ministers of this house of God, it shall not be lawful to impose toll, tribute, or custom, upon them. And thou, Ezra, after the wisdom of thy God, that is in thine hand, set magistrates and judges, which may judge all the people that are beyond the river, all such as know the laws of thy God, and teach ye them that know them not. And whosoever will not do the law of thy God, and the law of the king, let judgment be executed speedily upon him, whether it be unto death, or to banishment, or to confiscation of goods, or to imprisonment. Blessed be the Lord God of our fathers, which hath put such a thing as this in the king's heart, to beautify the house of the Lord which is in Jerusalem and hath extended mercy unto me before the king, and his counsellors, and before all the king's mighty princes. And I was strengthened as the hand of the Lord my God was upon me, and I gathered together out of Israel chief men to go up with me. Ezra chapter 8 verses 1 through 20. These are now the chief of their fathers, and this is the genealogy of them that went up with me from Babylon, in the reign of Artaxerxes the king. Of the sons of Phinehas, Gershom, of the sons of Ithamar, Daniel, of the sons of David, Hattush of the sons of Shechaniah, of the sons of Farosh, Zechariah, and with him were reckoned by genealogy of the males an hundred and fifty. Of the sons of Pahathmoab, Eliini the son of Zerahiah, and with him two hundred males. Of the sons of Shechaniah, the son of Jehaziel, and with him three hundred males. Of the sons also of Aden, Ebed the son of Jonathan, and with him fifty males. And of the sons of Elam, Jeshaiah the son of Athaliah, and with him seventy males. And of the sons of Shephatiah, Zebediah the son of Michael, and with him fourscore males. Of the sons of Joab, Obadiah the son of Jehiel, and with him two hundred and eighteen males. 
and of the sons of Shelemith, the son of Josephiah, and with him an hundred and threescore males. And of the sons of Bebai, Zechariah the son of Bebai, and with him twenty and eight males. And of the sons of Osgod, Johanan the son of Hakatan, and with him an hundred and ten males. And of the last sons of Ado Nikam, whose names are these, Elifilet, Jael, and Shemaiah, and with them threescore males. Of the sons also of Bigvi, Utai, and Zabad, and with them seventy males. And I gathered them together to the river that runneth to Ahava, and there abode we in tents three days, and I viewed the people, and the priests, and found there none of the sons of Levi. Then sent I for Eli Ezer, for Ariel, for Shemaiah, and for El Nathan, and for Jerob, and for El Nathan, and for Nathan, and for Zechariah, and for Meshulam, chief men, also for Joyarib, and for El Nathan, men of understanding. And I sent them with commandment unto Adu the chief at the place Cassiphia, and I told them what they should say unto Adu, and to his brethren the Nethanims, at the place Cassiphia, that they should bring unto us ministers for the house of our God. And by the good hand of our God upon us they brought us a man of understanding, of the sons of Mali, the son of Levi, the son of Israel, and Sherebiah, with his sons and his brethren, 18. And Hashabiah, and with him Jeshaiah of the sons of Merari, his brethren and their sons, twenty. Also of the Nethinims, whom David and the princes had appointed for the service of the Levites, two hundred and twenty Nethinims, all of them were expressed by name. 1 Corinthians chapter 4. Let a man so account of us, as of the ministers of Christ, and stewards of the mysteries of God. Moreover it is required in stewards, that a man be found faithful. But with me it is a very small thing that I should be judged of you, or of man's judgment yea, I judge not mine own self. For I know nothing by myself, yet am I not hereby justified, but he that judgeth me is the Lord. Therefore judge nothing before the time, until the Lord come, who both will bring to light the hidden things of darkness, and will make manifest the counsels of the hearts, and then shall every man have praise of God. And these things, brethren, I have in a figure transferred to myself and to Apollos for your sakes, that ye might learn in us not to think of men above that which is written, that no one of you be puffed up for one against another. For who maketh thee to differ from another? And what hast thou that thou didst not receive? Now if thou didst receive it, why dost thou glory, as if thou hadst not received it? Now ye are full, now ye are rich, ye have reigned as kings without us, and I would to God ye did reign, that we also might reign with you. For I think that God hath set forth us the apostles last, as it were appointed to death, for we are made a spectacle unto the world, and to angels, and to men. We are fools for Christ's sake, but ye are wise in Christ, we are weak, but ye are strong, ye are honourable, but we are despised. Even unto this present hour we both hunger, and thirst, and are naked, and are buffeted, and have no certain dwelling place. And labour, working with our own hands, being reviled, we bless, being persecuted, we suffer it. Being defamed, we entreat, we are made as the filth of the world, and are the offscouring of all things unto this day. I write not these things to shame you, but as my beloved sons I warn you. For though ye have ten thousand instructors in Christ, yet have ye not many fathers, for in Christ Jesus I have begotten you through the gospel. Wherefore I beseech you, be ye followers of me. For this cause have I sent unto you Timotheus, who is my beloved son, and faithful in the Lord, who shall bring you into remembrance of my ways which be in Christ, as I teach everywhere in every church. Now some are puffed up, as though I would not come to you. But I will come to you shortly, if the Lord will, and will know not the speech of them which are puffed up, but the power. For the kingdom of God is not in word, but in power. What will ye? Shall I come unto you with a rod, or in love, and in the spirit of meekness? Psalms chapter 30. I will extol thee, O Lord, for thou hast lifted me up, and hast not made my foes to rejoice over me. O Lord my God, I cried unto thee, and thou hast healed me. O Lord, thou hast brought up my soul from the grave, thou hast kept me alive that I should not go down to the pit. Sing unto the Lord, O ye saints of His, and give, thanks at the remembrance of His holiness. For His anger endureth but a moment, in His favour is life, weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. And in my prosperity I said, I shall never be moved. Lord, by Thy favour Thou hast made my mountain to stand strong, Thou didst hide Thy face, and I was troubled. I cried to Thee, O Lord, and unto the Lord I made supplication. What profit is there in my blood, when I go down to the pit? Shall the dust praise thee? Shall it declare thy truth? Hear, O Lord, and have mercy upon me, Lord, be thou my helper. Thou hast turned for me my morning into dancing, thou hast put off my sackcloth, 
and girded me with gladness, to the end that my glory may sing praise to Thee, and not be silent. O Lord my God, I will give, thanks unto Thee forever. Proverbs chapter 20 verses 28 through 30. Mercy and truth preserve the King, and His throne is upholden by mercy. The glory of young men is their strength, and the beauty of old men is the grey head. The blueness of a wound cleanseth away evil, so do stripes the inward parts of the belly.